America is in an anxious mood. Have you wondered or worried about your financial plan? Then let us be your guides. Welcome to First Take, a podcast designed with you in mind. With expert analysis and conversation, our team at West Michigan Advisors will take complicated financial concepts and convert them into easy to understand next steps. Thank you for joining us at First Take. Let's get learning. Hello there, my name is Heather Mosher and I'm one of the financial advisors at West Michigan Advisors. And today this video is specifically for parents interested in learning ways to teach their children responsibility with their personal finances. So parents, I have a question for you. Where are your kids learning about money? If you think that they're learning about personal finances at school, they likely are not. Only 17 states in the US require students to take a personal finance course, which is crazy, right? Regardless of what is taught in schools, parents and guardians are still the primary educators when it comes to teaching children about earning, spending, and savings. And it's a big job, but if they're not learning it from you, they're likely on their own. I have two sons, ages 10 and 15, and I'd like to share a few things that I've done with my kids to help build a strong foundation for their futures. If kids aren't old enough for a part-time job, get your kids involved with chores and responsible responsibilities around the house and pay them for it. Personally, I went to Amazon and purchased a chore chart for each of my kids. I personalized it for each of them and they're responsible for completing and recording their chores under my supervision, of course. At the end of the week, I tally their charts and I pay them, but not in cash. Each of my kids have their own savings account as well as an investment account. In Michigan, we call them, we call the investment account an UTMA account, which is Uniform Transfer to Minors. As his custodian, I can purchase an assortment of investments such as stocks and bonds for him. I am the custodian, but he becomes the controlling owner of the account as soon as he turns 18. My 15 year old has been especially interested in learning about ways he can invest, in, invest his savings in order to enhance his returns. Involving him with the process from the start has also helped him learn about risk as not all investments have a positive return. Encourage your kids to put a percentage aside for savings, a percentage for investing, a percentage for philanthropy, as well as a percentage for them to buy the fun things that they want to buy. We want to keep it fun for them. But uh, if you're feeling overwhelmed, I understand that not everyone is a financial advisor and you, yourself, and you yourself may have limited understanding. So if you're not feeling confident in your knowledge or researching age appropriate lessons for your kids online, get your financial advisor involved. So many of us are very happy to not only form a relationship with our clients, but we want to get to know your family members as well. As your financial advisor, if it's okay to bring your teenager along with you to, the, to your next meeting with them. Personally, I have scheduled meetings with my clients, teenagers or young adults, and I'm more than happy to do Investing 101 with them. So if you don't have a financial advisor, but would like to start working with one, please contact our office and you'll be connected with one of the many financial advisors in our office. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for listening to First Take. We welcome your comments and questions. For your next steps, contact us at westmichiganadvisors.com. West Michigan Advisors LLC is a registered investment advisor. Please visit our website, westmichiganadvisors.com, for important disclosures. The information has been obtained from sources considered to be reliable, but accuracy is not guaranteed. The views and opinions expressed are as of this date and are subject to change without notice. Further information is available upon request. Past performance does not guarantee future results. There can be no assurance the trends mentioned will continue. Investing involves risk, and you may incur a profit or loss. No investment strategy is guaranteed.